What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And right here, we're going to be doing some weekend league. Currently, we are 9-1. and one, And we're just trying to... Yo, we're just trying to do a come up, man. Because dudes have been getting some crazy packs. And, you know, even when you get, like, the bronze packs... I've seen dudes tweet me where they get bronze, you know, bronze packs from weekend league. And they're pulling, like, 93 overalls. And one dude pulled uh, Jesus. Like, I don't understand what these guys are doing and how it's happening. So, I got to start at least making sure that I play at least 11 games or something like that. All right? So, right here with this dude right here... Um, he, oh, I, could, I didn't even know that Talib was on this team, but it don't really matter because OBJ is about to do some wild things. But this game turned out to be very, very crazy, man. Um, this dude is the Houston Texans. I'm the Desperados. We're about to jump into this right now. And um, like I said in the title, man, the way that this guy is going to lose this game is going to be really, really crazy. Because if you're new to Madden, Madden has become more overwhelmingly about animations. And if you're on the wrong side of an animation, it could lead to possibly um, destroying your console. Um, throwing it into water, uh, smashing it with a sledgehammer. Like, the rage is real with Madden. And, um, you know, it has gotten better. Because if you guys, a lot of you guys have been riding with me since I've, you know, been doing Madden 13, Madden 12 on this channel. But Madden 16 and Madden 17 were two of the most ridiculous Maddens that were ever made. And uh, a lot of people liked it. I, I myself personally uh, hated Madden 16 with a bloody passion. After uh, the first patch was done, yo, pick that. Run it for six. Run it for six. Go, yo. I don't know if you guys recognize this, but Barry, he's an automatic pick six machine. Even without all that, um, you know, that power up stuff, you don't need to power up Barry, bro. As long as you get that Barry right there, that flashback, that dude is almost always guaranteed to try to take it back for six. Like it, it's regular. But getting back to what I was saying, um, Madden 16 was a fine game when it first came out. They patched it and ruined it. And then what they did was with Madden 17. They kept the same patch from the jump with Madden 17. So Madden 17 was just really ridiculous. With Madden 18, I can't really say it's as bad as either one of those games because you do have more luxury of being able to play defense like you could back in the day um, and do a lot of different things like that. Uh, a little bit more adjustments, you know, ID, the mic, stuff like that that's been added have made has made the game a lot better. So we have to give EA Sports credit where it's due. Um, the Mutt content has been unbelievable. Uh... As far as the way that the, a lot of these things are next, though, they're starting to get a little ridiculous with some of the rewards. Uh, in previous Maddens, they would make sure that when you had to grind for something, uh, regardless of what it was, if they were, okay, I, I, I effed up on that because I got caught on my, what, what, what is Peppers doing? I got caught on my safety, and by the time I came down, it was really bad. I ended up on Peppers, who, by the way, has been rage sold. Um, if you weren't part of the live stream that I did here on YouTube, definitely go back to my last live stream so you can see what Peppers was doing. Peppers is a bum. And he has the hot hands chemistry, but apparently that makes you drop the ball a lot more. Um, so Randy Moss, did he catch that? No, he dropped it. I, I, w I really wish that they made these goats auctionable because Randy Moss, w yeah, now nah, I'm lying. Randy Moss is the only guy that can drop the ball and do stuff like that and just know that his job is safe. Any other receiver that does that, you know, they would have been gone a long time ago. But I, I'm really starting to be disgusted with the fact that, uh, what happened right there? He caught that? How did he catch that? I don't know. I, bro, I, I just threw it there, bro. That, that was kind of, that was a semi-Stevie. That was a semi-Stevie right there. I really just did that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, a lot of the things that go into what make Madden, what made Madden so popular was basic things. Uh, it's become animation driven. So what happens is, if, okay, yeah, just jump through my body, jump through my, jump through my neck. My neck doesn't exist. Uh, the animations have become so ridiculous in certain cases that you have to try to always get a specific animation in order to make out. You know what I'm saying? And the reason that I'm leading up to that is because the animation that I'm going to get, th this is more of like a, it, like it made me laugh. It was hilarious, but it's not really hilarious though. You see what I'm saying? If it happened to me, I, I don't know what I would have done, but I don't know what this guy did. This guy must be a real strong guy uh, because, yeah, I, I just don't know. What, what was that? Why, why did that just happen? I don't know. What, why did he just throw it underneath though? He had the underneath route. I don't know. He I guess he wanted to just go deep and then you try to, why, why would you not, double team obj do you not realize that that and and i know obj is hurt right now and the giant fans are going wild but you guys got to remember this one thing you guys were 0 and 4 before this week so 0 and 5 is not that bad okay what okay peppers you are going to be removed from the squad see it's things like that why why is he doing that what is this yeah that's a dot that's a dot that's a dot that was a that was a good pass. He he waited just he waited long enough to make sure that that happened. And then right there, he was very very good within the pocket. He made sure that right before I was about to sack him, he just threw the ball. And um, that's what made this game a lot more annoying than it had to be. Okay, so look look at this. We double team smashed him, but I think he might have it on conservative. And if you guys don't know about conservative, 
you you just don't fumble, bro. Like you you could be I'm telling you, Thor could come down with his hammer, bro, and bash these guys on the ball. And with conservative, you're not dropping the ball. It's so ridiculous. But again, uh, EA Sports is aware of it. And uh, during the next patch, whenever that patch is going to be here, because I thought it was going to be the first week of October, but it's not here yet. When that patch comes, what's going to happen is they've adjusted it so that if you get certain animations with conservative, it's still a fumble. What's weird, though, is a lot of the guys that uh, – did he just what, – what is this? That's a pick? All right, thank you. A lot of the guys that have made it to Burbank for the Madden Classic, they're going to have to play possibly with the new patch, which is going to be kind of weird because – that's what, you know, you, that's really, really funny to me that EA Sports, I, the way that they do it, because I think the last time that they had a tournament, right, they kind of patched the game always around the tournaments, I guess to make it a little bit more exciting. Because remember, when the patch happens, it alters things that usually work. So a lot of the guys that have skate, for instance, this whole more pitch thing, right, where dude's pitching the ball, I got the D for the pitch, I haven't lost to the pitch, but what happens is the defenses that usually stop it and the way the guys react Usually after an EA Sports patch, it doesn't react the same. So now it has to, I'm telling you right now, if you guys don't watch that stuff, I usually will host it on my Twitch channel. Uh, I have been streaming on YouTube for the last, I think the last three times I streamed, but I will be going back and forth with Twitch and both YouTube. Um, you can leave in the comments the one, like the, which streaming plat plat platform you prefer. But I'm going to try my best to do it for both. But I know a lot more people are enjoying the YouTube streams. And uh, we have a little bit more fun with that. But just let me know what you guys are thinking uh, as far as that goes. But the animations and things like that, as far as the way conservative and uh, the other things work, that's going to be altered during the you know once the patch is here. So remember that. Right now, while you're playing, get all the wins you can. Keep your thing on conservative. Do whatever you want, right? But just always remember, as soon as the game is patched, conservative won't be that thing no more bro when you get hit with a with a decent animation you're probably gonna fumble the ball but what's gonna happen is a lot of other things are gonna also open up you see what i'm saying other things are gonna also go on that usually don't happen as well so be ready for that and i don't know what it is but a lot of the different modes for instance like sim mode is kind of weird the way it plays i don't know if you guys have been playing like the sim mode but it's kind of weird um and Arcade mode is just Madden 17. It's just Madden 17 within Madden 18. And competitive mode, I don't know what they did with certain tunings, but dudes are catching the ball in quadruple coverage again like it was Madden 16. So I'm just giving you guys insight into what's going on so that way, you know, you can pretty much figure out for yourselves what you're going to do, what still works, what doesn't work. Because a lot of different things that you've been doing right now more than likely is not going to be the same after the patch. But that being said, as far as the animations being the drip, like... If you get in the wrong, if you're trying to go for like a SWAT, right, and you get an animation where a dude is just mossing you and teabagging you uncontrollably, it doesn't matter the way that you're in the proper position. You're not going to be able to stop that pass. So animations are very, very dominant. And this was a very, very hard fought game. Now look where I am. It's a 52 yard field goal, and I think he's at 100 percent, right? I don't know, guys. Am I at 100 percent right there? I don't know. I, I thought I was, and he misses that. But that's Sturgis, and he has 83 kick pop. I don't understand. How do you miss that kick, though? It doesn't really make much sense to me. So this guy tries to run around and do whatever he wants. I think he's going to try something real stupid right here. I don't know what D I was in, but now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have been playing this D. He could have been able he, he possibly could have exploited this defense. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm trying to see the way that they're doing. Hold on. What's that guy doing? What did he just do right there? All right. See, Bar Barry is just a guno. You see the way Barry just slid over there? Because Barry is like his pursuit. His he, He's just a, he's just, he's a monster, bro. If you if you need if you need a strong safety, get that buried. That dude is a total goon. All right, so now look, right? We go to overtime. Um, I guess he loses with the toss, so we get we're gonna get the ball. But we know the kind of defense he's been playing. He's been playing nickel three three five, you know, pretty much community defense. And then he's also playing cover four out of three four. So he's playing two defenses that are well known. So at this point, I'm not really like if I don't. I'm saying to myself, and I did this live on stream. If I don't score. I mean, if, if it comes to a fourth down, I'm just going for it because these defenses are so annoying and you already know, you know, pretty much they make it. So a lot of the things just don't work. But OBJ was really holding on to the ball this game. And that's that's very unusual because usually everybody just drops the ball like it's it's a fun thing to do. They just drop the ball. So it's going to come down and it's a second and seven. He's wide open, but he's going to get hit before the line, of course. All right. And then right here, we try to run the ball, but block sheds immediately. You know how that works. It's fourth down. We go for it. Check this out right here, though. Look at this position. Yo, better him than me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Hit that like button, subscribe, share. One love.